Good evening. Police right now are searching for the gunman in the shooting that shocked the southwest side of Fort Wayne this morning. The crime at a house it happened at a house in the Shorewood Edition, and it forced all southwest Allen County schools to lock down for about an hour. We have been breaking details about this since minutes after it happened. News Channel 15's Drew Blair is live to kick off our team coverage with the latest developments. What do we know about the suspect, Drew? Not much at this time, Mark and Heather. Police know what the person did to the homeowner here. They just aren't sure who or where the gunman is. I don't understand why he has to stoop that low to uh, invade someone else's privacy. Questions swarm between homes on the southwest side. Neighbors struck this morning, realizing this scene could have been outside any one of the Shorewood properties. I thought I bought a nice house in a nice neighborhood. I did buy a nice house in a nice neighborhood, but as you can see, uh, some things happen everywhere. This time, it happened in David Cooker's garage. The homeowner discovered a person there just after eight. As he attempted to flee from the subject, the subject shot him. With shots to the hip and shoulder, Cooker made it outside to his front yard, yelling for help. A neighbor heard those cries. So did an off-duty sheriff's deputy living across the street. What scares me is the guy's brave enough to do this across the street from a, a sheriff's car in the driveway. Police searched the home for the suspect or any other possible victims. They found nothing. Indiana State Police started tracking a scent before it was eventually lost. They had their canine units arrive um, immediately and they began a track. We were tracking the scent. A running suspect has nervous neighbors on alert. Still shock stage right now. There isn't a description of the suspect at this time. We are learning more about the victim in all of this. News Channel 15's Adam Weiner continues our team coverage from News Control tonight with what he's found out. Adam? Well, Drew, I've been digging deeper on who exactly is David Cooker and uncovered that he's a local attorney. As I went to his law office earlier this afternoon, I also discovered that he's a pretty prominent figure in Fort Wayne. Now, Cooker works for the law office of Fagery Baker Daniels. Leaders there say he's the office leader with the firm's Fort Wayne operations. It's located downtown in the Wells Fargo building right across from One Summit Square. His focus, though, is corporate law, not criminal. We've also uncovered Cooker is well known in the Fort Wayne community. He served as the director of the Embassy Theater Foundation, a former director of Matthew 25 Health and Dental Clinic, former director of Christian Urban Ministries. He's also on the school board at Emmanuel St. Michael Lutheran School and is a former member of the Arts United Finance Committee. Cooper's law firm wouldn't go on camera, but they released a statement saying, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with Dave and his family during this time of recovery. At last check, Cooker was in serious condition. Leaders at the firm say they're glad his injuries are not life-threatening. And I asked people at the law firm why they think that this suspect would target Cooker's home. And just like police, they don't have any form of motive in this early morning shooting. We're live in News Control. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.